My name is Chris Shepard, I'm Media Manager here at Groves Incorporated. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the assembly process of our single-sided shop cart. Parts you need to assemble your single-sided shop cart are the base frame, two swivel with brake casters, two 10-inch tires, hardware for the tires and the casters, three cross support braces, two uprights, and hardware for your uprights and cross support braces. The tools you need to assemble your single-sided shop cart are 14 millimeter combination wrench, 17 millimeter combination wrench, 9 16 combination wrench, 3 8 drive ratchet, 9 16 socket, a 14 millimeter socket, and a 17 millimeter socket. To begin assembling your single sided shop cart, take the base, flip it over so the rubber is pointing down. Next, take your 5 inch swivel brake casters and place them on the caster pads. Take your caster hardware and feed the bolt through the bottom, which will be the top of the caster pad, and leave them finger tight. Repeat this step until all of the caster hardware has been attached. Once casters have been installed, a little tip is to take one tire and set it underneath the base to raise the base off so you can take the next tire and slide it onto the axle shaft. Little note about the tires. The hubs and the wheels are directional. The longer hub is going to face the inside of the base. The shorter hub with the air nozzle will go to the outside. Before you place the wheel and tire, take two washers, slide them over the axle shaft. Take the wheel and tire assembly, slide it onto the axle shaft. Place the remaining washer over the axle shaft and insert the cotter pin into the pre-drilled holes. Once that has been done, you can take a pair of needle nose pliers and bend the tabs up to secure the wheel. After you have one tire on, you can take the remaining tire out from underneath the base and it will leave you with enough room to get the next tire onto the next axle. Once again, two washers, longer side of the hub in, remaining washer, and cotter pin. After you've done that, go back and tighten up your caster hardware. The next step in the assembly process, we're going to attach the uprights to the base. When you open up your hardware package, you'll notice that there's two different size bolts. The larger of the two is what we're going to use to attach the uprights to the base. Begin by setting the upright on the base and aligning the pre-drilled holes. Run the bolts through the top of the upright all the way through to the bottom of the base. Each bolt is secured with a washer, lock washer, and a nut. Once the top hardware for the cross brace has been inserted and left finger tight, insert the bottom bolt all the way through the hole on the upright and on the cross brace. Then place your washer, your lock washer, and your nut on the remaining bolt. Making sure to leave all of this hardware for every single cross brace finger tight until complete. After all the cross braces have been attached to the uprights, make sure you go back and tighten all the hardware, including the base hardware, caster hardware, cross brace hardware, and make sure that your pins are tightly secured. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any other questions, please feel free to visit us at www.grovesglassandstone.com.